Parse to exam, Python version, last question, question four. So this one's GCD. GCD is greatest common divisor. We want to get two numbers coming in. Let's just assume that they're two positive integers. I even told you that right here, so you're allowed to assume that, not deal with the GCDs of negative values. Um, all it is is we gotta find a number that evenly divides into these two numbers. And how can we check evenly divide? Well, we have a mod um, operator in Python. So if we take the numbers, so we don't know what they're called, A and B, A mod something is equal to zero, and B mod something is equal to zero, we just wanna find the something that's as big as possible. Um, we know that it must be less than or equal to the smaller value because we can't have something bigger evenly divide into something that's smaller. So there's two ways actually to do this. We can do this with a loop where we're going to check the number one, which is the smallest integer that's positive. One divides evenly into everything, so one is a good guess. Then we go to the next number, two. We check if it evenly divides both numbers, and then three, and then four, and then five. And we gotta keep going, 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 all those numbers up to the smallest one, okay? So we can do it that way, or there's another way to do it recursively. So let's do it the first way, with a loop. So let's uh, clear out here. Let's start a new file. Let's save it as exam4.py. Let's rock and roll. So let's def gcd and it call my values a and b all right so now we said we wanted the minimum value right so let's grab the m is the minimum of a and b we got m in our pocket let's call it minimum because we don't like bad variable names so minimum is the min of a and b um, let's write a test let's just return 42 because we should write our test first Mm, let's say the answer is, let's call GCD of 8 and 24, and then we'll print the answer. Now the GCD of 8 and 24 is 8, um, but we're going to run this and we know that it will print Python 3, exam 4. What's it going to print? It's going to print 42, because we know it's going to print 42. So we've got the minimum in our hand. Now what do we need to do? We're gonna know, okay, the answer is one. That's one works. We wanna find a bigger answer. So, let's call it a candidate. I'll call it candidate is one. And then, so we wanna start at two and then go all the way up to the minimum. So, for each value in range two comma minimum, plus one, remembering that it doesn't include the one on the right, yeah, Python. Uh, so for each value in that range, we're gonna check if a percent a mod value is equal to zero and b mod value is equal to zero, then what do we know? then that next number of the value evenly divided into both of them, so that's a new candidate. So our candidate is that value. Okay, we're gonna do that for all of them. At the end, we're gonna return that candidate. Okay, we know we're gonna return something because candidate is initialized to one. Even if this loop never happens, we're gonna return one. What happens is this loop, we're gonna consider all values between two up to the minimum value, we're gonna check, does it divide both? If it divides both, that's our new one. And we go, because we go from the bottom to the top, the last one is the greatest common divisor. What do we expect? Returning candidate should return eight. Awesome, let's try the GCD of eight and uh, 17, should be one. Cool, let's try the GCD of eight and uh, 16 and 32 should be 16. Cool. 16 and uh, 40 should be 8. Uh, 16 and 44 should be 4. Bingo. So that's GCD um, with a loop. Okay. Now I'm going to do it a different way. Oops, cap 
caps lock. Let's put it back to return 42. 42, okay. Remember, we don't need to change the main function, remember the main program, because the main program below, is using our function GCD. We need to think that we're two people. We're the provider of GCD and we're the user of GCD. The user of GCD doesn't care how it's implemented. Well, might care later. We'll talk about time and, and space complexity. But it just needs to know what is the GCD of these two numbers. So we can implement this any way we want. And this is how we're going to implement this one. Recursion. If A is equal to B, then the answer is A. Oh, autocomplete. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. So the answer is A. Well, or B, right? Because they're equal. If A is not equal to B, then the answer is, here it is. Um, actually, we're going to make an LF here just for fun. LF. So if A is bigger than B, then we're going to return the value of the GCD of A minus B comma B. So that means that we just reduce the bigger number by the smaller number. Remember, because multiplication is multiple addition. So we're going to reduce the bigger number by the smaller number and then include the smaller number. So A minus B comma B. If that's not the case, if they're not equal and A isn't bigger than B, then that must mean B is bigger than A. So we're going to return the GCD of A comma B minus A. Boom. What's the GCD of 16 and 44? What was it? It was 4, right? Let's try. It's 4. GCD of 16 and uh, 40. That should be 8. Cool. GCD of 16 and 32 should be 16. Got it. So we have two solutions to GCD, one with a loop, one with recursion, similar to what we did with factorial. We did a loop solution, we did a recursive solution. You should be thinking about which one's better, which one's prettier, which one's faster, which one's cooler. For now, it's an exam. Crank it out. We're done.